give us a statement about tonight's match, what you thought, stuff like that? Well, I felt like uh, USF is a really good team. Uh, Ashley's done a great job with the program, and they're extremely deep. Um, so they're tough in all their positions. Um, so, I mean, they, they really took care of business and, and made the match extremely tough on us. So, um, so I mean, we knew it was going to be tough, and, you know, I was hoping that we could, that we could at least uh, squeak out, you know, one or two of them there at the end, but, uh, but they put us away, and, and um, they, they did a great job. So two of your seniors, Marcelo and Pipe, they both battled into three sets. Can you just talk a little bit about them and their leadership on the team? Well, uh, I'm particularly proud of Marcelo because the guy that he played uh, started the match just on fire, and we talked about um, we talked about you know staying you know staying believing in yourself throughout the match regardless of what your opponent is doing, and and he hung on and and turned the match around and and won the second set. And I mean, whenever you get into a third set breaker, anything can happen. But, um, but for him to be able to win a second set after the other guy playing the way that he was in the first set was just uh, really hats off to his um, belief in himself and his fight and things like that. So and that, those are the types of things that I really want to focus on early on with the team. Uh, with Pipe, I mean, he, Pipe is just a warrior and he's, you know, you put him in that situation uh, and that tight of a match and he's going to win the match nine out of ten times. Um, you know, so I'm not I'm not worried or concerned about him at all. He's going to win a ton of matches this year. He's playing extremely good. Uh, just the other kid got him today. So obviously the new guys for you, they played all through the fall, but now they're starting to get a taste of spring tennis. Can you talk a little bit about what you saw out of them tonight? Yeah, well, I I wasn't watching the the new guys today, so I can't uh, speak on behalf of their level or anything like that. But what I can speak on is that uh, I felt like they played with good energy. I heard I heard them say some come ons when they got some breaks in there. Uh, I heard it, and and I think um, you know I think that they they from what I know anyway they they did a they they tried to implement the things that we were working on. So um, it was unfortunate that we didn't get any sets down there, but, uh, but I'm confident in this team and, and it's a long season and we're gonna work hard. And as long as we keep focusing on these things, uh, good things are gonna come. Awesome. And then one last question, obviously being in Florida, you guys have a chance to play some really tough non-conference opponents like USF, Miami, stuff like that. Can you talk a bit about how that prepares you for conference play later on? Yeah, these are the types of matches that that we want. Um, whenever you, whenever you play against opponents that are better than you, they expose your weaknesses, and hopefully you write those things down and and then work on them in practice. So that's that's going to be our number one thing to take away from from this match. I mean, they they beat us up pretty good, but um, but our goal is not to beat USF on January 11th. So our goal is to learn what we need to work on and then work on all of those things absolutely relentlessly the entire season, prepare us for conference and get ready for, for that.